place, of course, but you know it does mm-hmm. it does add a bit of a of an interesting aspect to it as to try to break down and figure out why this happened because obviously there's people who are way smarter than me who their job is to study these things and find out why these things happen and what triggers these things with, with folks so that they can keep them from happening again. I think that uh right that even in all this like the 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 loss of life that took place here um god i have a i have a six-year-old guys the youngest victim was five that's terrible the youngest victim was five years old i uh that just it just sends chills down your i mean i literally i didn't know that I have I, I I was afraid that that was the case. Five years old. Can you imagine? But because this was a small town, you know. Did you hear that they said about four percent of the town was killed today? That's insane. Oh, wow. it's, a very, it's a very small town. That's insane. I mean, I I have chills right now. I mean, there's mm. wow. I have a difficult time when it comes to bad things happening to little kids. Yeah. You know, I have little kids. Too. Right, right. I got right. fourteen months. Uh, three years old, uh, t- twelve years old, almost, and sixteen. You know, so it's it's uh, man. I mean, it, it it it. I don't even really know what to say. No, I I think that uh, I, if I was that parent, I hope I'm. I, I, if I was the parent of that child, I hope I'm. I almost hope that the parent was taken as well. You yeah, know, I, seriously. I cannot ama- I can't and I, imagine. And I don't say that to be insensitive. Correct. But if my child was killed, I would want to go with my child. Yeah. Or you know, I cannot, I cannot imagine that loss. That, no one I, I don't want to. to I don't even child. want to think about. You should that. never have to bury a child. That's the worst. The worst. Never. The oh. Worst. Um. Some other things have been happening this weekend. Um. Not to take away from. No, it's probably a good idea. I mean, we can we can go back to this another day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah, want to yeah. berate this topic very much, especially because we don't have all of the details yet, so it's, it's hard to speak intelligently on it. Besides gut reactions, right now. So. Yeah, and it's, it's there. There, there, there was something though, and and since we kind of were talking a little bit, uh, just to kind of segue a little bit. Yeah. Since. Since this, since we were talking a bit about how, when things like this happen, how how race is really one of the first things that people talk about. Mm-hmm. Uh, and forgive me, listeners, I'm a little under the weather today, so I will probably have to take a sip of water every once in a while. But um, you know, race is obviously a dynamic in this country, and and this case, this sh- terrible shooting is is no exception. But I had sent uh, you guys a little. Um, there's a guy named Mike, and I don't know how to say his last name, Senovich or Serovich. He wrote a book called The Gorilla Mindset. He's a he's a relatively popular sort of self help self help uh, author who had posted something on his Facebook page, and he's an extreme right wing guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, he said there's a college campus, and I didn't look into what college camp it was, campus was because I don't care. But where they had posted some signs saying it's okay to be white. Mm-hmm. So. I kind of wanted to run back by you guys, and I think that I, I had sent you guys a text message about this. But um, what are your thoughts on on that? Um, whole thing? I guess I'll go first and just say, of mm. course. Well, let, let me ask. Let me let me phrase the question a little bit better. What he asked was, he said, "Is it racist to say it's okay to be white? Is that is that in and of itself a racist statement?" I think that's what he just for clarity. I apologize. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, I think that uh, my first reaction is. No, it's not racist to say it's okay to be white, but my second question would be, why do you think it's not? I think that um, it's okay to be white. It's not okay to be a butt munch. It's not okay to be a bigot. It's not okay to be intolerant. It's not okay to be a racist. It's not okay to be prejudiced. Uh, But those are all traits that transcend race in the first place. Um, when you say it's okay to be white, what is your motivation behind that? I agree. What What are you saying when you say it's okay to be white? Does that mean it's okay to be white so I should have the right to say some bigoted things? Are you saying I'm a white person and it's okay for me to be white? That, that, that You know, 
I don't understand. I don't know. I think the genesis of the question I, is I, weird. Yeah, I think that it's. I think that it's <clears throat> seated deep into into the psycho- psychology behind people being being labeled. You know, how do I say this the right way? So uh, there, there's a lot of distaste from white people these days that say, well, I can't say anything without being called a racist. I can't be proud of being white without being called a racist. I can't, uh, you know, it's okay to say Asian pride or black pride or white pride pride without being called a racist. And we have to look at the historical context of people that say white pride. That, that, is, that is exactly <laughs> correct. Okay. Go ahead. I'll let you finish your thought. Of, what is the historical context of when some, when you hear white pride, what usually comes along with that? You know, right. And, and and that that is where the that is where the the other shoe drops because a lot of times when you hear white pride that comes with f all you n words f all you Jews f all you uh, insert negative euphemism for Latinos here you know what I mean um, I think that I think that when people say it's okay to be white or white pride. I want to know when wasn't it? When hasn't it been okay? Because if anything in this country, it has been a celebration of whiteness for a very long time. So when has it not been okay to be white? It's not okay to be, as I said before, it is not okay to be a vile person, which of course transcends race. So if you want to use your race as a cover to be vile, then that's not okay. Yep. You know what I mean? Am I? Be- yeah, I, I definitely. Yep. Yeah, I, I I agree with that. But especially, you know, like you said, intent is everything. Right. Intent in 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 this circumstance is absolutely everything. Now, if we're taking this at face value, simply somebody saying it's okay to be white, that is not racist. Um, no. And what I think is extremely important is that we establish that there's a difference between what is racist and what isn't racist right. now i understand it's a it's a it's perspective correct and i but i also think that with that perspective comes intent mm-hmm. so saying just simply saying i mean there's african-american club there's african-american you know various things so i don't think that it's fair to just automatically label this as racist right now here's where the intent comes in if you're saying this with the intent to be able to put another group another nationality down right then this absolutely becomes racist yes if your intent is to just express your pride just like they have you know gay pride just like they have you know asian pride there's nothing wrong with having pride in who you are and your set of beliefs the problem comes when that pride is being used to put down another right. group or advocate the sense. yeah or you know if you if you're advocating the the second class citizen res- citizenry of other groups in favor of your group then yes that becomes you know a whole different thing i think it's right. i think it's deeper when you ask and let's put it this way okay i hate fig newtons okay can't stand mm-hmm. them right i don't like fig, them either fig newtons are disgusting but they are it, it says on the box it's a cookie okay mm-hmm. i love cookies but i hate fig right. newtons so right. Don't when you call a fig Newton a cookie to me, <laughs> it degrades other cookies. And I know this is a stupid ass analogy, but it's what's inside. It's not really what it says on the outside of the box that matters. It's what's inside the box that actually matters. And when it comes to the term white pride, I understand that yes, there is a dichotomy there. Okay, we've already expressed on this show that term is probably going to come up every show we have. None of us like dichotomy. We would all like things to be equal. They are not. Right. However, if you're a white person and you don't, and you're not really, you know, like you say, okay, I treat everybody good, blah blah blah. But why is there a Black History Month and not White History Month? Why is there Latino, Latino Heritage Month and not White Heritage Month? Why is it okay to say Asian Pride? If you go to Wikipedia and you Google Asian Pride, it says it's a positive phrase. If you go to Black Pride, Wikipedia says it's a positive phrase. If you go to Gay Pride, it says it's a positive phrase. If you go to White Pride, it says it's a negative phrase used by racists. That right. upsets some people. Right. But and, and, mm-hmm. and, and I can understand that someone who doesn't think about it would be upset by it. Mm-hmm. Here's why I'm not upset by it. Because that's not what's inside that box. 
okay? If you, there's not pride inside that box. They took the term white pride and turned it into something that it shouldn't be called and use that term for it to, to sort of disguise it. So therefore we have to find a different word as white people. Okay. So the issue is different than yes or no. It's not racism per se, but it's basically it's unnecessary. I don't really know what good it does to, to even say white pride because it undermines all the real issues of, you know, a system that's been set up to give whites an advantage for Mm -hmm. 200 years longer. Now, granted it hasn't, it hasn't helped every single white person. And those are the ones you'll say, well, I'm poor. I don't have any money. How is well, white pride affect me? said about that. I, I don't. What did he say? <laughs> he said, if you're a white, especially a white man in America, and you're broke, that is a waste of whiteness. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> boy, do I feel like a boy, do I feel like a waste of whiteness sometimes. <laughs> it took me a second. It took me a second, but but you know, yeah, it's that's. Funny, like you already it's, got it, your black, you already got exactly. your card. Well, you the the funny thing is, is like it's, I, I don't, I just don't see where where it matters because in this country, white culture, whether you want to admit it or not, for the time, and it's getting to be less so, but white culture still dominates. Again, it's it's moving away from that, but white European culture still dominates, and since the U.S. is built on that, which has helped whites and held down other minority groups since the start of this country, then it really isn't a necessary thing to have that phrase. It just doesn't make any sense to have it. Mm -hmm. Black pride stems from being the main victim of discrimination by a society that, I guess, more or less created the stereotype or belief that blacks are a lesser lesser race, okay? Western influence is big in this country, Mm -hmm. but Western influence is mostly white, with the exception of, I guess, Spain, I guess you could say. Um... You know, but it's, again, it's just, to me, it's, I get it. I don't like being, I don't like, I don't really care for the term white privilege myself. I know that it exists. I think that it's overused sometimes. But when it comes to people getting upset about other racial groups getting their day or their year or their week or whatever freaking moment, why does it bother you so much? That's the thing. it, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. We're here in this country. We should be able to celebrate everybody equally. Again, the system is set up on by white people. It was originally set up by European whites who came to this country to look for freedom. They gave us freedom. They made it a place where immigrants could come to it and not have to assimilate completely, but yet bring pieces of their culture here. So what's your right. fucking problem? I'm sorry mm-hmm. to rant. No, the rants are, you but, know, they're, part of, they're part of Voice from the Underground. <laughs> That's what we do. Got it right. You know, and, and, and again, I'm not saying that it's not an overused term. I know me and Haas have argued about the term white privilege before. But it's, again, I'm not saying it's not there. If I go to a restaurant and I complain, it's a good chance the manager is going to be white. If I get pulled over by a police officer, it's a good chance the officer is going to be black. You know, I'm sorry, it's going to be white. You know, if I if I go to a job interview... It's a good. It's a really good chance that the person interviewing me is going to be a white person. That doesn't That's give an advantage. You, that doesn't give I think privilege, privilege is probably the privilege I, comes in their attitude. Well, towards but the privilege is yeah. Just because they're white doesn't give you the privilege off the jump. But not. But not every person. Not every. Per, not every person has. See, privilege is. Let, let's look at that word. Okay, if you go to jail, you have privileges until you don't like to go outside and to to get in the yard and stuff like that. You know, if you. If you get good grades at school, you get privileges like, you know, getting one thing, you know, getting to go somewhere. You know, a privilege isn't something that you just get. That's that's something that's an inheritance. You know, a privilege is something that you have because you didn't do something fucked up or you did something right. You maintain that privilege. But a privilege can be a privilege is something that can be taken away. That's actually the better way to say it. Right. I can lose a privilege. Right. I can't lose my whiteness. No. Okay. So in that particular definition, p- privilege doesn't make sense. Now, could you say I have white advantage? I'm with you. I get it. But privilege to me, that that particular word just doesn't, to me, it doesn't sit. Now, maybe I'm arguing about semantics. You're kind of but... splitting hairs a little bit. Just a little. But I, I understand, I understand, what, you're, I understand what you're doing. I understand. <laughs> 
I, I know where you're coming yeah. from. 